you'll hear something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Takes you a couple minutes. Takes you about. Takes you five, ten minutes. So, and in fact, I don't even think they needed your uh, your pebbles or anything, Bach. So I picked up a few too, but I think that, like you said, uh, there's enough metal and wood and other crap around here. So if anybody else has anything they want to add to it, feel free. Otherwise, well, I'm going to take my iron pot that I have. And I'm going to set it right in front of this double door where they swing, where they both swing. Nice. Now, does that door swing mm -hmm. towards us or away from us? It looks like it goes in. So away from to the north. Yes, correct. Away from you. Yep. Mm -hmm. And by okay. now, this this corpse is really starting to smolder and stink like high hell. It is really starting to stink right now. Ugh. Uh, Burnt Grick. Ugh. Um, can we assume that in the handle of his pot there's a hole? Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. There's then a hanging hole. Take, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a couple feet of my fishing wire and I'm going to tell him to string the fishing wire around the door handles and then loop it through his pot so since it's going to open the oh, other man. way it'll break the rope and drop the pot that'd be pretty cool good idea damn good idea i like that and then i am going to pull out my bow and arrow again i am going to ask someone to cast light on the tip of the arrow and those oh, three oh. holes up at the top, I'm going to shoot an arrow into each of those holes to see if there's anything else up there. You take your time, you line the shot up. A couple of the holes are sort of towards the middle, so you have you basically have to lean over the edge as everyone else is you know, holding on to your leather armor, or if they let go, you would just basically fall into the pit, but you're able to... Uh, they're able to balance you enough to where you get your shot off. There's nothing else up in there. You notice that there's a, there's just a bunch of ash and soot, and uh, that's basically why it's not ventilating that good. You know, it's like, uh, like Gim with his engineering check earlier. He basically, uh, that's basically what he thought was going on anyway. So that was his, uh, that's what his theory was on how, why the smoke was there. So. I would ask well, all the I, guys that are going to be sleeping while, you know, on the first shift, if they sleep over in this corner away from everything. That way we can warn them enough time for them to be able to get up. And they're out of a line of sight from down that hall. I will... What I'll do is, if you want, I'll do like a shift or first shift or whatever, and I'll just run a. I'll just assume I'm going to run like a a stealth check, and I'll get to the far side, catty corner from everybody who's got any light on them, and basically sit in the dark and listen for any sort of noise, set off any of the noise traps. Well, this whole room's lit up, so it's going to be kind of hard to get. In the yeah, well, I think the I know the, the the druid, the wizard, and the the cleric they have to have eight hours. So, uh, you guys could, you know, the other people in the group. Uh, I guess you four or three. I guess you three could just kind of, you know, well, split I don't have the, anything to recharge. I cast. Yeah, but you uh, still need to get some rest anyway. Them. So the three of us, the yeah, three spell All right, so you guys. Wizard, cleric, and the druid should rest. Yeah, they got to get eight hours apiece, so. Then I will stand on the other side of the doorway from Gim, and we'll just chill. All right, nice job. I, I like the way that you guys set that up with the door, the open hallway, 
putting everybody in line of sight. I like that. Good job. So uh, we'll go ahead and, like I said, we'll go ahead and call it here, and we'll pick it up uh, next Friday. So uh, would you guys be willing to play uh, uh, extra next weekend? Because there's a lot to sure. do in this place. So sure. uh, Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. No so let, let's plan on going uh, at least an hour later next week. So uh, I I don't want to start that this week because we'd be playing till like three or four in the morning. So and right. I honestly I can't do that because I got to get up and go to church in the morning. So you guys know I'm a church goer. So yeah. I might check speed. Well, and our our rolls aren't our good problem. enough tonight. Keep going. Holy cow, our rolls were horrible, guys. I mean, they truly Tell me were. About it. Yeah. Man. Well, guys, seriously, I had a good time tonight. And uh, you guys are good. Just, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions about anything, you know, it's a learning process for all of us. So, uh, but, anyways, thanks for playing tonight, guys. And hope no you guys problems. enjoyed it because 